There was a sense of disappointment that Liverpool against Manchester City was not the swashbuckling back and forth that fans and neutrals would presumably have wanted, and it led to a perception that Pep Guardiola altered his tactics for this match, and this match alone, as if Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool away is the only fixture in football that can force Guardiola to abandon his principles and park the bus. Guardiola and Klopp have a significant competitive history, and the Catalan manager is certainly wary of his German counterpart. Guardiola's first competitive defeat as Bayern Munich manager came in a 4-2 loss at the Signal Iduna to Klopp's Borussia Dortmund. This defeat marked the start of an otherwise successful domestic season for Pep, but his team also suffered a 3-0 loss at home to Dortmund with the title secured. In Pep Confidential by Marty Pirano, it's clear that Klopp's approach caused Guardiola issues. In the Super Cup loss, Guardiola attacked, using a 4-3-3 that morphed into a 4-2-4 with Thomas Müller pushing high alongside Jordan Shaqiri, who started centrally and dropped off. Bayern could play through Dortmund, but the lack of defensive cover meant that they were shredded on the counter-attack. The 3-0 loss at home in April came after the title had been won, and Guardiola played the sort of 4-3-3 that morphs into a 2-3-2-3, which has become synonymous with the attacking position of his Manchester City team. Fullbacks inverting to make a first midfield line, two central midfielders who effectively operate as inside forwards, and an attacking trident ahead. Two counters and one long ball secured Dortmund's victory against a Bayern Munich team, trying to play the quintessential Guardiola style, and the Catalan partly put the loss down to his team going soft after winning the title, according to Peronau. But Guardiola also apparently noted how moving the fullbacks out wide at the beginning of the second half, away from the central defensive midfielder, which had cut off Dortmund's central counter-attacking opportunities, was a mistake. Too much width, too many attempts to attack, left Bayern vulnerable in the second half, and Klopp's side punished them. Perhaps most interesting from that season, though, is the 3-0 Bayern win against Dortmund away in the Bundesliga in November. Guardiola started with a conservative 4-3-3, playing Philippe Lahm in central midfield alongside Toni Kroos and Javi Martinez. Martinez was actually used as an advanced midfielder, his aim to pressure and man-mark Nuri Sahin, the instigator of Dortmund's rapid counter-attacking. It's a similar trick to how Marouane Fellaini has been used as a kind of anti-10, largely there to shut down a deep opposition playmaker and provide a physical aerial outball in support of a striker. Even Guardiola, the supposedly dogmatic evangelist for pure possessional football, makes the sort of pragmatic decisions you'd expect to see from Jose Mourinho. With Martinez shutting down Sahin, and Bayern's fullbacks covering the wide spaces in a deeper stance to maximise defensive coverage, rather than tucking inside to assist building play in the midfield, Guardiola's side shut down the game for the first half. In the second half, though, Guardiola let his team loose to secure a 3-0 win with goals from Mario Goetze, Ian Robin, and Thomas Müller with the final two coming in the last five minutes. He moved Martinez back to the centre and dropped him back, allowed the fullbacks to invert, and brought on Goetze to play as a false nine, swamping the midfield with as many as six men. This reversion to his principles of build-up play in the centre through positional overloads before quickly striking an attack worked because Dortmund had been so stifled in the first half and unable to counter-attack. By taking control of the midfield and then making further changes to up the ante, Guardiola managed the game brilliantly and secured an excellent win. As Pernarau states in Pep Confidential, it's a battle between those who dominate the ball and those who dominate the space. The trick is to find the balance. And Guardiola showed in his first season with Bayern that Klopp's Dortmund were the one side who could cause him problems in striking that balance. It's no surprise then that City and Liverpool are wary of one another. The space versus possession conundrum was solved by both teams in the 0-0 draw by not trying to give away or have too much of either. In fact, for the 0-0 draw in October, both sides managed around 50% possession and 50% time spent in the opponent's half. It was a very balanced game, with both sides making the effort to remain solid and sensible. Contrast that with the 4-3 win that Liverpool secured at Anfield in 2018, Liverpool had only 36% possession but spent 57% of their time in City's half. As Mark Thompson observed in a piece for Football Whispers, only 20% of City's attempted passes were in the final third against Liverpool. Similarly, Liverpool only attempted 21% of their passes in the final third. Both teams' top passing combinations involved the defence and goalkeeper. What's interesting about these three competitive games in Germany in 2013-14 is that in two, Guardiola attacked and lost, and in the other, he sat back for the first half, used Martinez as an anti-10, and then let loose and won. Guardiola's more conservative approach in that victory will have shown Klopp the dangers of being sucked into playing too expansively against a Guardiola team that is sitting back, because he could well change things. 
In the nil-nil draw, the absence of Kevin De Bruyne probably meant that Guardiola could not alter the state of the game as much, especially centrally, with only Phil Foden able to play that role on the City bench. But Liverpool's reticence to expose themselves, as shown by their own curtailment of their attacking instincts, meant that such a change would likely not have worked anyway. Guardiola came into this game knowing that only Klopp's Liverpool have really caused City any problems in the last year, but Klopp came into the game knowing that if City slow the ball down and retain possession deep for a half, Guardiola can and will change things to great effect if a team comes onto him too much. This historical understanding of each other's strengths began in the Bundesliga in 2013-14. Its effects are still being played out today in the Premier League.